Hey guys, Obeats Gaming here, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining six key facts that I have to offer since I'm a long term player, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, for my people that are just viewing my channel that aren't just looking for tips, um, expect some more Rise Kingdoms videos to be coming out because KVK is approaching. But anyway, I have been playing since 2019 5th of the 7th that's my starting commander Boudica. which is actually a pretty good civilization to go for for the training speed now let's start covering the tips as you saw a minute ago i put the tips on screen but let's start with vip vip is a key thing in the game every single day you need to aim to come and claim these two things now as you can see when you are at VIP 0, you may think it doesn't give you anything, but as you get further and further along, it gives you quite a few stuff. Like on VIP 1, it gives you an advanced sculpture, which is already a good improvement, and it keeps going, and eventually when you get to VIP 10, but this is mine at the moment, so when you get to VIP 10, you'll get a legendary commander sculpture. These are used for legendary commanders, so always keep upgrading this. It will take a while. As you can see, I've claimed 644, but I've used a lot of experience tokens. Talking about legendary sculptures, let's go on to don't use legendary sculptures on non-epic chest commanders. So, here is a epic chest commander. I'll show you all of them on screen in a minute. But first, let me show you how to get the epic chest commanders. So, in here, you can see golden chest. That's where they come from. Um, Always claim all your chests every day, I forgot to mention. But, so, hold on. This one is a non-epic chest commander. Ooh. This one, as I said, this one, this one, these ones, scroll down, this one, and this one, and this one. They're all epic chest commanders. This one isn't, but also on this topic here, YSG, always upgrade him to level 5 when you can. He's an archer commander, but he's good at anything as a secondary, a really good city defence. Mainly because um at his expertise he shoots in a circle. So now let's go on to farming. Every single day, even if you're playing, make sure to be farming if you're not doing anything with those troops. But I do suggest if you are online, keep one troop type in your city just in case um you want to do something with that person. So um, now there is another way to actually get resources, and that is with a farm account. So, if you go onto your profile picture, on settings, and on character management, settings, character management, as I said, then you can see, here is my farm account. It's easy to make them. If you want me to make a video on it, tell me in the comments. It won't be too long. I'll probably do it on my second channel. Talking about my second channel, there'll be a link to that in the description. So, farm accounts, you can either use them to fight as well, but I only mainly use this one to farm. Now, moving on, barbarians and action points. So, in the top left, here are my action points. So, top left, action points. As you can see, you get 1,500 a day by default. I suggest you use all of these every day. Because, as you can see, you can use them on barbarians to get um, watchtower arrows or barbarian forts. Let me go find one. You have to search for these manually. No. Oh, here. As you can see, you can get books of the covenant. You're going to need these to get tier 5 units, which is the best type of troop in the game. They're very costly. So... Yeah, as you can see, you need to upgrade your castle to level 25 to upgrade this to level 25 to get tier 5 units. So, as you can see, attacking some barbarians. I haven't used my action points today. So, attack some more. Ooh. 
So, yeah, also, I'll do that in a minute, actually. So, yeah, go in here. Now, what have I got left? Troops. Always train troops. Never stop training troops. If you are new, I want you on before you go to work, before you go to school, before you go to bed when you wake up, training troops. Also, upgrade buildings when you can. As you saw there, don't go past level 25 on those buildings till you have enough gems. Also, as you saw earlier, try to research as much. With troops, don't use these unless there is a special event going. When I say special event, I mean KVK at a certain time or Mightiest Governor. But don't use them on the training day. Use them before so you can aim it perfectly. I'll also, if you want me to do a video all about KVK and how it works, tell me in the comments. I'll happily do that. So that is all the tips I have for this video. If you want me to do a bigger one explaining all the tips I have, as I said, tell me in the comments. Hopefully YouTube allows comments. But up here you can see my amount of troops. Don't be afraid to lose them if you're losing them for the right reason. When I say losing them for the right reason, I mean KVK. As you can see here, I have 2.4 million dead. That's more than some 100 plus, I mean, 100 million plus power players. I contribute more to KVK than people. Also, my kingdom is sick, so too, if you want to join that, I'm happily help you out. Apply to LO2N. Make sure to leave me a message, though, on either this account or my other account. So, as you can see here, lots of troops. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Um, About city zeroing, that is one way you can lose lots of troops. Always keep your city on territory in KVK. Link in description to a video where I show you what happened, even if you're at my power and you're leaving your city off territory. Link in description to that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye, guys.